Okay, so Dim has kind of been getting on us to get polyurethane O-rings. Um, so don't say we didn't do anything nice for you. <laughs> <laughs> so we've kind of gone with the idea of like, okay, we can't get polyurethane O-rings right now because our money's tied up to get uh, cams, yeah, hangers, base plates, yeah. aluminum just showed up. <clears throat> but I figured, hey, we can we can do we can experiment with polyurethane in another way. So we got this super <laughs> expensive bicycle inner space tube, tube. <laughs> space tube that yeah. comes from Japan and is actually manufa manufactured by Panasonic of all things. And it comes in this nifty cool transparent blue green polyurethane. <clears throat> and is the perfect diameter to do some research and development on elastomeric polyurethane O-rings to provide resistance and rebound for our skateboard trucks. Uh, yes. Yeah. Take it take it to just 12 degrees, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm getting a workout here. And the thing just snaps back in place. Granted, there's springs on here, but they don't really provide much in the way of anything. But there are four O-rings, well, I guess polyurethane tube segments that are on here that are probably about a centimeter This is wide. a bigger one. Oh, so yeah. This is, I want to be able to be able to see it very well. So this is about a centimeter. <clears throat> and the diameter is probably... Here, let me show you. You hold it. I'll show them how, 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 how much rebound it has. Okay, ready? <laughs> rebound, 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 rebound. So I've been using this. This is rubber inner tube. Which and I, I tend to use this because I feel that these feel better than our O-rings. And so if you compare how much rebound these have, they're just like... <laughs> that was boring. Let's see what the polyurethane can do. Woo! Yeah, so that has a significantly higher rebound. And he couldn't break it with all of his voice. All right, polyurethane tests begin. How dare you? Oh, it's on. It's on movie. Yeah. This is with O-rings. This is with several O-rings. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is our, our most massive O-ring setup. Six O-rings on the board. Yep, three per truck. So, how far can you move it? My own hand. Like and how would you compare? How would you say this feel would compare with bushings? What kind of what like? It's much. It's definitely slower in its reaction. But since there's such a, a high leverage ratio, how would you say it's a high? I think it's higher. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a little higher. But it's slower to its to return, and it also feels slower to react. But yeah. Okay. But and so if you're say, so it, like would it be like a cone bushing that was like really soft? Yeah. And, like then, it, and with not much rebound. No. It'd feel really neutral, but it's playful, like Play-Doh. Because <laughs> you can push into the stuff, and it doesn't exactly come back okay. as quickly as, okay, say, yeah. something else. So yeah, so step it's on. It's definitely step not on. chewing gum. This is what happens if I... Oh, great, without grip. Oh, we do that. Ah, okay. It's kind of <laughs> it, it comes back quickly, but not yeah. Well, do it, do it in the middle because that was like just falling down. Yeah, it's definitely pretty slow to return. Mm -hmm. Like I could, I could probably pull my foot back faster than the foot than the board would return. Yeah. Yeah. But that gives it a nice, smooth, predictable feel. Yeah. So it allows you to go out and ride and then feel like the board isn't just trying to jump out from underneath you because it has so much built up energy in it. Okay, yeah. So there is some benefit to running a slow rebound material like this. But, but yeah. There is a lack of, you know, pumpability and also playfulness. You know, yeah, and, and just playfulness and being able to do, you know, tricks and maneuvers and things that other boards are much more capable of. We have removed all but one of the nitrile O-rings, just to see what that feels like. This is currently the way I ride my board, is with one O-ring.
much slower. Alright, now we're going to demonstrate what zero O-rings are like. So this is just the normal return that the trucks create. Wow. Pretty incredible still. Not a lot of <laughs> Not a lot of action. <laughs> Alright, so we've just installed one polyurethane o-ring per truck. Wow, look how much more rebound that's getting already. What's the resistance like? Very minimal. Interesting. It's like... Oh, wow. Whoa! It, it like almost jumps up and has so much re... No, it does. That wheel is actually picking up off the ground. Hurry, hurry! Behind the scenes. Nice. Wow, that's one O-ring. How does it feel for resistance? It feels so much more playful. Yeah, I would I, say that resistance is very is minimal, but, the, but there's definitely like a quicker re return. Now we have two O-rings per truck, and there's a significant increase in the amount of resistance. I would say that we're, you know, probably into the territory of what two really big nitrile O-rings yeah. would feel like. But the rebound is unbelievable. Did your mom ever tell you not to play with your phone? Oh, that feels really nice. I definitely can. Move your foot out of the way fast now? Yeah, it's like almost not able to. Well, you can really take a pick up the gun now. Okay. Jeez, that's insane. I can't wait to ride this thing. So we have three O-rings per truck. And I'm not feeling an increase in the amount of rebound so much. If anything, there's almost a decrease. Yeah. It's almost like they're sliding over one another and it's providing more resistance. But there's definitely a pretty high amount of resistance just in riding. That actually feels really good if I were just going for mock speed. I think these things are going to put up with a lot of abuse, too, man. Yeah. I think it'll be quite a while. I think this, I think three with springs would be it. Because <laughs> you know, you know, the, you know, the springs just kind of completed those O-rings on that one setup I have. Yeah. I think the springs are actually a good thing if we could just finally, because there's like, they're just rebound. That's all they are. Okay, so five. So five. Four. No, four. Four, that's what I thought. I, don't even, I can barely get it out to the ed, edge of the... Can you cause it to, to flick it? <laughs> Definitely here, there's a lot more energy now. Yeah, the rebound is actually increased. Yeah. Between the three O-rings and the four. And the resistance is like skyrocketing. This is, this is getting more into what a really, really soft bushing would feel like. So this is five... Five O-rings. Look, I'm actually able to pick up the outside wheel. I well, barely. There it is, just a little bit. This thing has got some resistance. This is top mount. Imagine this on the you know ideal plane. There'd be so much resistance. Yeah. Feels pretty good though. And we've got this thing. Do, do, do you agree? It kind of has lost the cam. Feel? Yeah, like I'm not feeling that profile and rising. No, and I'm not feeling the flat spot. It just feels like I'm, you know, tipping back and forth on a pivot. Yeah. Yeah. There's like zero cam. It just feels like I'm being held up in the air by resistance. Yeah. Instead of having that forceful rocking motion that I'm working with. Uh. Now we're up to six O-rings. The amount of resistance is pretty intense. Oh wow, that feels like a regular skateboard. Right there. That reminds me of my old Sector 9 Cosmic 2 with the red bushings on the Randall 180s. It can kind of feel like hammering it though. Yeah. Let's loosen it up. Yeah. Do you think it's time to ride it and take them off one by one? I think it's a 
good place to start. Man, those are faster wheels. Come back. Oh my God. You can't carve like I can. Yeah, I know. Even with your higher angles. I have those high angles. Yeah. Your angles won't save you from the lean. <laughs> Okay, so what are our conclusive findings? Well, Riley, we what, are, what, am I, what are our conclusive findings? <laughs> According to my calculations, we started out with six O-rings, and that was just far too much resistance. Running 22-22 on the kingpin angles, at that much resistance, was giving me very, very little turnability. Yeah, I was like... It was like no fun. I'm sure if I were going fast, it would be okay, but even then, you know, I just didn't feel like I could maneuver the board to where I wanted it. So, we took it down to three O-rings, and that was really happening. I was actually starting to feel the playfulness of the deck. I was starting to actually push the, the angle of the deck mm -hmm. further into it. We got the cam it. feel back. Yeah. And we had a little bit more of that micro steering, so you could just kind of, you know, fine tune where you wanted to go, which was about all that six O-rings would allow you to do. And then with three, I was able to take it a whole step further and bring the deck all the way down and start to feel that resistance, but also the rebound of coming back out of that deep, deep deck tip. So I could push it hard and feel it come back out and transition me into my next turn. So it was really playful. The other thing that was really interesting is that the rebound from it just reminded me of, of water. I mean, as I would go down into, the, into my turn, it just felt like I was displacing water when I would be coming back out of my turn. So, the resistance was very, very believable. So, I think three, three polyurethane, ugh, three polyurethane O-rings with 22-22 kingpin angles on a top mount deck is a pretty happening setup. <laughs> now you know! <laughs> <laughs>